Hello everybody, welcome back to another recipe video. I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. And today we are making five hot drinks for the winter months. It is starting to get cold here in Japan and um, I don't really like the winter season. So today we got five of our favorite hot beverages that you can easily make at home. And the first one is Royal Milk Tea. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you guys know Royal Milk Tea or milk tea is one of my favorite things to drink. Every time I pass by a vending machine and if it's cold outside, I never fail to get myself a can of hot milk tea. And you always make royal milk tea at home. I do. It's really, really easy to make and it's actually very rich tasting. So the way to make it is super simple. We're going to add milk to a saucepan and then we're going to heat this up. Once it's hot enough, we're going to put a tea bag right inside. And usually for royal milk tea, um, I think it should be black tea, English tea. And then we're going to simmer this over a low heat for about two to three minutes until the flavors of the teas uh, come out into the milk. Mm -hmm. And then we don't want to waste any of the tea flavor. So I'm just going to like squeeze the um, tea flavor out with the back of my spoon. I see. Do you prefer royal milk tea rather than regular milk tea? Um, I like both. Both. I like both. But my favorite is Hong Kong milk tea. I also like to sweeten my tea just a little bit, um, but this is totally optional. If you don't like your tea sweet, you can just simply omit the sugar. Once it's done, we're going to pour this into a cup or mug and we're going to make it a little bit fancy today mm -hmm. because it's the holiday season. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some whipped cream. We're going to pipe some whipped cream right on top as much as you like. And then I'm going to sprinkle on some red sprinkles and green sprinkles to mimic the colors of Christmas. Mm. It's nice, it's so inviting mm. and I just cannot wait to. You know mm. what, I'm gonna have you Ooh. take a sip first. Oh, thank you. Mmm. How is it? Is it mm. good? Mm. Oh. Here, let me try my oh. royal milk mm. tea. Mmm. Milk flavor and the tea flavor. Mmm. Mm. Both Yum. are very clear. Yes, mm. yes, this is so yum. Yum, 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 yum. I'm making Japanese style one. Mmm, what are you making? Matcha latte. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Before using matcha, you should dissolve matcha powder in a little bit water, hot water, like this, and stir well. Sometimes it, it doesn't dissolve in the milk, so it's better if you do this step. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, oh, I need uh, more hot water. Oh yeah, yeah. it's like a paste. <laughs> yeah. And add water. I think a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Completely dissolved. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep this matcha mixture to the side. Pour milk in the saucepan. Mm -hmm. About one cup. About one cup. And turn on the heat. So let's add matcha mixture into this mm. milk saucepan. Okay, that's a beautiful color. Beautiful you can color. see yeah. it's starting to turn green. Yeah. And if you want a sweeter one, add some sugar. Yes. I like my drinks a little bit sweet, especially my matcha lattes. Okay, it's done. Pour this into your favorite mug. Mmm, that's mm. yummy looking. Mm, beautiful. Today we're gonna jazz it up. Add marshmallow on top. Oh, that's mm. interesting. Mm. And Sprinkles of matcha powder. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. And that's decadent. Mm. Wow. Usually I don't add the marshmallows on top. I just, you know, make mine very simple. But this is a great idea. Mm. It's kind of like hot cocoa, but um, um, this is matcha version. Mmm. It gives an extra sweetness. It does. It does. Especially on the surface where the marshmallow is floating and it's kind of melting. Mm -mm. I got some marshmallow in my mouth. Mm. Do you Try. Like it? I love it. I love it. I think I'm going to be putting marshmallows in my matcha latte mm. all the time from now. Yeah, the melting marshmallow, it's very fun. <laughs> it's fun, yeah. It's a really fun texture mm. in your mouth, yeah. Mm. I don't know, it makes me feel like a kid again. Mm. Number three on the list today, and this is something I thought of especially for our good friend Erin Uber, who loves azuki beans, who loves sweetened azuki bean paste. Uncle, we have matcha latte, we have regular latte. Um, I guess, you know, royal milk tea is sort of like, like a latte, like a tea latte. Mm -hmm. So I thought, why not try and make an azuki latte? 
like a azuki latte. Yeah, like an azuki latte.、Mm-hmm. You know, we have、um, mm-hmm. like a azuki bean, bean soup、mm-hmm. called oshiruko, which、mm-hmm. is delicious.、Mm-hmm. And that has no milk in it.、Mm-hmm. So basically, it's that combined with milk. We're、mm-hmm. going to add a cup of milk into a saucepan and we're going to bring this to a nice low simmer until it's hot enough. And your azuki bean paste, we simply got the boiled azuki beans, and these are sweetened in a can. And these can be found at your local Asian supermarket slash Japanese supermarket. If you can't find them at your supermarket, you can also find them online.、Uh, we, we left the link in the description below to our Amazon store, so go check it out. We're gonna combine two or three scoops of this azuki bean. s And then we're gonna give it a quick mix. And because the azuki beans are already sweetened,、mm-hmm. some、mm-hmm. people don't need any more sugar. But if you like your drinks a little bit sweeter, you can go ahead and add a little bit sugar. We want to get the juice, the flavor of the azuki beans. So、mm-hmm. I'm going to try and smash the beans、oh, into the oh, milk、I、like、see. this. Once you think you, know, you smash your beans enough and your, your mixture is hot enough,、uh, turn off the heat. And transfer this to your favorite mug. And here you go. That actually looks really good to me.、Mm. And once again, we're gonna jazz this drink up because you guys deserve it. We're gonna pipe on some whipped cream. And then on top, we're gonna take some of those beans, the sweetened beans from the can, and we're just going to place them gingerly、mm. and carefully, mm. Mm. arrange it beautifully、mm. on top of the whipped cream, <laughs> like so. And there you have your. Azuki milk slash azuki latte slash whatever you want to call it. You know where I got the inspiration of combining the azuki and the whipped cream? Where? Nagoya. Because Nagoya,、um, they eat a lot of、uh, azuki bean paste with whipped cream. They have this azuki whipped cream sandwich. I see. Usually they, they eat it for breakfast. Yeah, toast.、Mm. Um, sometimes um, between hot dog buns. I've had it、um, both ways in Nagoya. And it's actually quite delicious. Mm. How was it? I can taste the anko. You can? Mm. Good. Mm. Mm. It's nice. Oh,、mm. anko taste.、Mm. <laughs> this is my first time to drink anko tea. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the first time I actually made this.、Mm. Um, I, actually, I didn't know if it was going to work or not, but this is actually very, very good. Mm. Mm. There's going to be some beans floating on the bottom, but you know, you can enjoy the beans at the end of your beverage. The gradation is also very beautiful.、Mm, beautiful color. You know, when I was a kid, I actually didn't like Uncle. Uncle, by the way, a lot of people who don't know Uncle, they think I'm talking about you know, an aunt and uncle. <laughs> so, so when I say I'm an uncle lo- lover, they think, oh, Shinichi likes uncles.、Um, no, 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 no. That's U N C L E. This is A N K O, which is a name for these sweetened azuki beans. <laughs> I just want to make that clear, you guys. So, what do you want to drink in the cold season? Especially royal milk tea. Me, hot wine. But we're not making hot wine today. <laughs> This is not an alcoholic video. The second one, I love hot chocolate. Hot chocolate, okay, that's much better. <laughs> of course, we're gonna make it a little bit fancy. Oh, I like fancy. Today, I'm using this Kit Kat. Oh. I found this strawberry flavored Kit Kat. You know, I've never seen strawberry Kit Kats、really? before. Yeah, I've seen the raspberry one, but I've never seen strawberry one. Really? Really? Seriously, I'm not even joking. Really? And you know how much like, I, I pay attention to things in the supermarket? I've、mm-hmm. never seen strawberry. Then I'm gonna use just one pack and chop into small pieces, not super small size, into just right size, like this. So, what is exactly just right size? <laughs> you should leave pink part. <laughs> right. You should leave pink part. If But, you crush completely, it will become brown. Right, it'll become sand. Sand. So, you don't want to crush it up that much. And set it aside. Put some milk in the saucepan. Add this chocolate. We're gonna be using this chocolate bar. Right, now this is a chocolate bar from Lotte from our 100 yen store. So, it's a very inexpensive bar of chocolate. But let me tell you, the quality of the chocolate does matter.、Um, we're okay with this、uh, 100 yen chocolate because it's pretty good chocolate. But if you use a、uh, better chocolate, like Ghirardelli, for example, you're gonna get a richer, better tasting、uh, hot chocolate. Okay, and break this chocolate and put them into saucepan. 
and melt very well. Mmm, melting, melting. Mmm, mix, mix, mix. Melting. Love chocolate. I love chocolate. Yeah. Sorry, I mean the mood of singing. Yeah. I'm melting. Dance. Dance. I'm melting. Okay, the chocolate has completely melted. Of course, the chocolate contains sugar, but if you want a sweeter one, please add sugar. It's all up to you. I don't like mine too sweet. Yes. But once again, it's really up to you. Adjust the sweetness to your liking. And pour this chocolate milk mixture into my beautiful, beautiful cup. Mmm, I want to drink now. We gotta make it a little bit fancy. I'm gonna add hot cream on top and sprinkle the crushed Kit Kat. Oh, that's what you're gonna do. Mm. Okay, I like that it adds a little bit of pink color. Yes, this pink color is very important. Strawberry and chocolate. Best friends, best friends. And we're gonna add one more thing. Marshmallow. I found this pretty heart shaped pink colored marshmallow oh <laughs> perfect because you are the princess yes, after all i'm a princess you guys know right he is he is or he was the halloween princess i'm pretty sure when christmas is here you're gonna be the christmas princess yes you may I place a marshmallow on top like this now it's ready oh that's pretty i have to say you did a wonderful job on this hot chocolate. It looks too pretty to drink. Oh, that looks good. Itadakimasu. Mmm. I think it's so good. That is delicioso. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> the, the fragrance of strawberry from mm. Kit Kat. It make my nose very pleasure. Really? Mm -hmm. It's pleasuring your nose. How mm -hmm. interesting. Well, <clears throat> and the, the chocolate enjoyed my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate is enjoying his tongue. <laughs> well, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, chocolate covered strawberries. Uh, because the strawberry Kit Kats have a really, really strong strawberry flavor combined with the hot chocolate. It reminds me of chocolate covered strawberries. It's so delicious. I love it. <laughs> this is very good. Mm. Mm. Smell is very important. Mm. At first, I wasn't sure about the Kit Kats. I was like, why are you crumbling Kit Kats on top of hot chocolate? It actually works though. It really does. I'm wondering how this would taste with like different flavored Kit Kats. Matcha. Matcha, mm, matcha and chocolate. I guess it will work. We have we have so many variety of Kit Kat. That's wasabi. true. Wasabi. Wasabi. Wasabi and hot <laughs> chocolate. Hmm. I guess it could work. All right, last but not least, we have a very Japanese drink, and this is a drink that I like to enjoy throughout the winter months. It's not only healthy, but it's also super delicious and very easy to make. This is the Kinako Latte. Kinako, if you didn't know, is soybean powder. It's basically roasted soybeans that have been grounded up into a powder, and it kind of tastes like peanut butter. So if you like the flavor of peanut butter, I think you're gonna like this. To make this, we're gonna add the milk, as always, into the saucepan, heat it up, and then we're gonna add in some kinako powder. Um, I'm adding quite a lot. I'm adding like a like a big mounded a tea tablespoon of kinako because kinako is super good for you mm -hmm. and it has a lot of protein. So I'm gonna add a lot into it. And then I'm gonna sweeten it with a little bit of sweetener. Um, make it as sweet as you like. If you don't like it too sweet, just add just a little bit of sugar. Um, but I do recommend you add a little bit of sugar because there's absolutely no sweetness in the kinako powder. And then once it's hot enough, we're gonna transfer this to my favorite mug. This has been my favorite mug for it's a while from now. Okinawa. It's from Okinawa. It's actually it's very beautiful. And it's expensive. It was it's probably one of our most expensive pieces of mm -hmm. uh um, ceramic that we have mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but this is beautiful back to the drink as always we're gonna jazz it up a little bit we're gonna add three pieces of marshmallow on top I was actually debating whether to put marshmallow or whipped cream on the top but we ran out of whipped cream no more whipped cream but we got a lot of marshmallows mm -hmm. so I thought why not use up our marshmallows mm -hmm. and then I thought you know what what is Japanese and what would go with kinako I thought kuromitsu which is a Japanese molasses type of like 
black sugar syrup. It's really delicious. It's like a Hagen Dutch combination. They had ice cream, taste of Kromitsu and Kinako. They did, and that was actually delicious.、Mm -hmm. Although very simple, but delicious. And if you guys missed that Japanese Hagen Dazs video, and if you're interested in seeing that, click right up there. Finally, and this is like super optional, you really don't need this, but I, I, I felt like I needed something else, so I'm gonna add some rice puffs right on top of everything. And there you go. This is your deluxe kinako latte. It's one of my favorite drinks in the whole world. Here you go.、Mm. I have you taste it first.、Oh, the smell is brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, this brilliant. The kinako smell and the kinako smell.、Mm. Mm. I know, it's such a good combination.、Mm. <laughs> nice. It's good.、Mm. The flavor, the taste. It's like a Yeah, you said it's like a peanut butter. It's Japanese style, Japanese flavored. That peanuts, is delicious. Peanut cream, peanut、mm. butter.、Mm. And the marshmallow is so good to eat.、Mm. You know, with that, with that juicing of kuromitsu and the puffed rice, it's like dessert. Don't you think it's hot Hagen Dazs ice cream? To be honest with you, I think this is better than the Hagen Dazs ice cream. <laughs> I prefer this over that any day. You know, this was a very interesting video for us to make because this was a competition of sorts that was going on behind the scenes.、Uh, Satoshi, Satoshi came up with two, I came up with three. I think we were trying to compete who could make the prettiest drink and the tastiest drink. Wh which one was your favorite? I, I think I can guess which one you'll like. Can I guess? Your favorite was the hot chocolate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, the reason why it's super easy is because Satoshi loves chocolate. He's not a huge fan of sweet matcha, sweet azuki beans, and he's not really a big fan of kinako either. But this kinako drink is pretty good. That's true. And you're also not a fan of、uh, milk tea. You like your tea kind of straight black, right? Right? So, I mean, this is like a no brainer for him. The hot chocolate is going to be his favorite. Let me guess your favorite, okay? Okay. The last one. The last one? The kinako? The kinako kinako one. Yeah, e no. The anko one. E no. Matcha one? No. Royal milk tea? No. See? <laughs> the hot chocolate one. The hot chocolate one. one. You know what? For, you know, I admit, I admit defeat today.、Mm -hmm. Although this is not a com competition, I do admit defeat. Your hot chocolate looked the best. It looks so good. And the quality, I know we're using 100 yen chocolate. 100 yen is like 80 cents chocolate.、Uh, even though we use one of the cheapest chocolates around, this is something I would actually pay for at like a cafe. I would. It's so delicious. I really do. I don't know what it is. Is it the chocolate? Is it the Kit Kat? Is it the marshmallows? Is it how pretty it looks? I have no idea. But that one I would pay. I would pay for. I would pay 500 yen for that. Oh, I would.、Hmm. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let us know what you thought in the comments below. Which one was your favorite? We would love to know. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Press that bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video. Stay warm, don't catch cold. Happy holidays! Bye bye! Bye!